Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Imrik. And Kugath is on his last settlement, so he's not long for this world. But before we go and finish him off, we got a dragon encounter to do. And it's the fire one, so all of our fire damage won't be that great. But we also have a decent amount of fire resistance, so I guess it kinda cancels out. So let's just go and get him. After inadvertently wandering into a nearby sandstorm, you encounter a Nushapti, a giant animated statue carved into the likeness of a strange god of long forgotten desert peoples. It is an understandably intimidating sight, but as you reach for your weapon, it tells you in a booming, otherworldly voice that it means you no harm. The stone-carved being tells you that it is the herald of Gordinar, a legendary sun dragon of great power, known to surround itself with undead desert stragglers it controls and other mystical creatures of the world's desert realms. Such a powerful dragon is worth reaching out to, but what message should you have the herald send back to its dragon master? You should send a message of war! Because we're gonna go and kill these boys. But we are gonna get Shining Light, which is gonna give us speed and perfect vigor, which is pretty nice. We got the dragon, of course. Sun, uh, the Sun Shard is gonna give us immunity to desert attrition, fire resistance and rage. And I guess rage is pretty alright. The others are... I mean, it's kind of a middling item, but whatever. We're also going to get Gordonar's Fury, which is going to give all of our units a bunch of speed, flaming attacks and fire resistance, so that's pretty alright. And we are going to fight a bunch of Tomb Kings and a bunch of Phoenix. So the Phoenixes are going to be pretty threatening and there's a lot of them, so we finally get a actual, an actual challenge in our air superiority. But I think we'll be alright. They're... They're not as jacked as our eagles, so I feel pretty safe. So yeah, let's just uh, go and get our next dragon. Okay, so let's take a look at Gordonar, Champion of the Flame. And yeah, those are pretty much just standard Sun Dragon stats, really. Although he does have some bonus verse infantry, which I guess is kind of nice. And his fire resistance is 25. Oh. I thought it was going to be way higher than 25. Well, I guess Imrik is just going to strip that away because I think Imrik's ability is just take away 25. Yeah, so I guess uh, fire damage is back on the menu, boys. He also has some missile resistance, physical resistance and rebirth. So that's going to be... That's going to make it way harder to deal with him because he's also unbreakable. So we can't just make him break. So yeah, we're going to hope that rebirth doesn't trigger. Although, the Flamespire Phoenixes, they have... Yeah, they have fire resistance to, to spare, so... We're gonna have to deal with those in another way. Although, I guess the Eagles are gonna deal with that just fine. I don't remember what the, what the Arcane Phoenixes have, but I think they should have a little bit less. They, they should still have a bunch of fire resistance, but... I don't think they have as much. So, we're just gonna set up over here, so we don't have to fight like uphill on this little thing because they're probably gonna be faster than us. You're just gonna hang out over there and find something to do. And we are just gonna put you in group four. Actually, you are also group four because you don't deal fire damage. Oh, and I guess uh, Lamiro is also not fire damage. So these three are fire damage. So they're gonna be in their group. And these guys are gonna be in their own group and just uh, they're gonna be the non-fire squad. And that's gonna be fine. And it's allies. I don't think these guys had any allies. So I think this is just stock from all battles, but we're just gonna speed this up a little bit. I guess uh, fly these around, see if we can bait some people out. And oh, they are coming out with their... Oh, and pull you back over here so... So that they uh, have to... Oh, actually, um, let's put you over there. Let's make you ready to fight phoenixes if they land. And I don't know what's going on here. I've selected something weird, but there we go. Let's turn you, turn you, turn you, and turn you. And send in the non the non-fire squad. Holy crap, baskets! <laughs> that is a lot of damage. Holy crap. Um, you guys can come and help as well. 
Because you're not fire damage. So yeah, I guess... Uh, I guess I can't click on any of these. But the spears are doing fine. The, <laughs> the non-fire damage squad is doing fine. Oh, right. And you are 75. So still quite a bit, but uh, not as bad as Flamespire. But they seem to be just suiciding them in here so can i just tell you to specifically fight this guy but although they are broken there we go focus them off and okay they're they're dead excellent so i guess uh, flame spire isn't a problem oh ouch i was gonna go and breathe and i forgot about them but that's fine whoopsie that's all right let's bait them in here you can just uh, Get over here and help out with this. We got arrows shooting. And yeah, you can deal with arcane phoenixes. You can probably deal with that too. You're gonna take lots of damage. Ouch. But yeah, these guys are gonna die real quick now. Because Imric is also stripping the... The fire resistance here. And we can pop flammable as well. But I think that's what he already has. So, whatever. We're gonna hit that anyway. And Gordon R is in and he is taking damage. Let's pop that. Um, I guess... Uh, I guess pop that as well. Just big damage boosts. And yeah, Gordon R is taking hits. The Arcan Phoenix, I want you to break properly. But oh, <laughs> he's already dead. Okay, never mind. That was real easy. And uh, we got a Cambrian War Sphinx in here, so let's send you in there. You guys are gonna go in and fight Tomb Guards. Let's send one in there, one in there, and send some in there. You can send the Prince and fight these guys, or the Tomb Scorpion. Uh, you can just uh, go in there. We got Burning Head, we can cast through there. And send you in, send you in. These guys are doing fine. And yeah, that should do some decent work against the the um, Tomb Kings. The Cambrian War Sphinx is taking some damage there. Good, he's breaking. The Eagles are doing their darndest, but they're doing fine. Let's send these guys over to help as well. And yeah, these guys are sandwiched between some spears and some some dragon princess they should be just fine go and land you there and are you dead or no you're not dead Imric, can you go and kill him please but well, i love the animations of the tomb scorpions but here comes Imric, shoving some skeletons away while he's trying to kill a tomb scorpion come on ow ah oh, you bastard but we took quite a bit of damage there. But I feel like most of that was uh, his phoenixes blasting into our stuff. Although they did have some strong stuff, so... That was way worse than the last one. But I kind of expected it because... Oh, what is running away with that much health? Oh, a flame spire phoenix. Yeah, so I did kind of expect it because... Well, they're... They're very good against our fire damage, but... It went fine anyway. So, Gordonor was kind of just a chump because uh, I was a little bit worried about his rebirth, but it doesn't seem to have triggered, so he just he just got murdered. And that was kind of fine. And we're probably going to be able to get quite a bit of replenishment on our way to the other to the other city, so I'm just going to take some money because we are starting to run low. And we got our stuff. Now, who's gonna get this? I don't really know. It's... Again, it's not that great, so... I'm not in really a rush to give it to anyone. But we are starting to make very good money, so... Let's... Uh, okay. We're gonna have to make, make it a dead rock, but I think the shortest way is just... Uh, Going through here, probably. Or is it? 
Oh, I think this... I think we get there in three turns anyway here. Yeah, so let's just go by land. Because we are going to get replenishment here. So, that's fine. So, let's grab a little bit extra replenishment. Because uh, that's going to be nice to have right now. And you're doing fine. I guess we can go to Desolation of Draken, uh, Drakenmore. Let's just have a look at it. There's nothing there. There is a guy over there. So maybe just ambush. Worked last time. Although, we... Hmm, can we reach that next turn? We should be able to, right? This is 55% left over there. This can't be like 40, 40 or 45% to get there. So I'm just gonna see if we can get an Actually, we don't need to sit in our own, you know, in our own uh, province though, because we're pretty healthy. So never mind. I'm just gonna move up and just have a little bit of a look. And there's nothing there. So we're gonna pull back a little bit. Did we start building an archive somewhere? I'm pretty sure that we did. No, we started upgrading that. Um, we upgraded that. We tore something down. Oh, we have the archive there. Right. That is fine. We're gonna need some plaza over there just to stabilize this place because it's not doing great. And I guess we're just gonna grab a little bit of money here then. And more... More of that. Can we... Yeah, we can probably just... Leave this on... On collect now. It is... Uh, a little bit low, but... I mean, it is going up. And um, I want the money. How about you? You are just about done with this. So... We are... Should be pretty stable. No? Imperial corruption is 2. Climate is 2. Oh, and we haven't switched this. That's why. So we're going to be pretty stable once we get there. But I'm going to say one more turn of this and uh, we're going to be stabilizing. And I suppose upgrade that as well. And I saw some orc activity over here because there's a Grimgore stack over there in the gates of Zar. The only... They only sacked it, which I'm kind of um, annoyed with. Because I wouldn't have mind they, they taking this, because we have a quest to take it. And uh, I do kind of want this uh, this area as well. But um, I guess uh, we can probably go and just kill those guys. Because they are a little bit hurt, and uh, we definitely have a stronger army than them, so... Where do we? What are you hiding in there that's scary? Because the other result doesn't seem like it. Or the preview. Um, let's, for good measure, just... Oh, actually. No, we don't have the money for a dragon. I was going to say, we could get one of the dragons, but we don't have the money for that. Let's just pop in the lions and see how this goes. Oh, yeah, it's decisive. Why did it... It made me think there was a bunch of black orcs or something in there, but no, no, no. That's, that's just weakness. Kill it. There we go. We get an obsidian amulet. And we're... I think we have another one, so I think I'm just gonna... Just going to merge them. So if we could go in there and... Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of obsidian amulets and I don't really want any of them. So, boop, boop, fuse. Yes. We got, ooh, an armor of destiny. That's way better. And you even need an armor, so have at it. We got sword of slaying, that's not that great, but turns out we don't have anything else. And you leveled, so let's give you some more stats in there. You can start getting some combat stats. And you don't have a talisman because we kind of took it away from you. So I guess you can have the sun shard. Get a bunch of fire resistance and rage. But yeah, I I don't think anyone else needs it really, so. That's fine. And you're just gonna sit here and recover while you're happy with your killing of a Grimgore stack. 
And we could go and grab these guys. But they're not gonna... Oh, they can actually get there. But I don't think I care. Well, I do care enough to get rid of that. Because it... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, worst case, they go and take that. We'll go down and take it back. And we can even secure the other side with Aerithon. So let's go take Desolation of Drakenmoor. That is an order resolve, sure. And I want garrisons everywhere. Everything is getting a garrison in this area because uh, there's gonna people are gonna keep fighting this. And Ungrim Canox also just underway over here, so gonna want some de defenses, especially since Ungrim won't peace out with us, the bastard. But how far can we get with? Well, not that much far further, and still looks well. Okay, it looks like we're gonna reach, but I don't want to take that chance, so let's just march over there. Oh, we can actually get over there. So, next turn, we 100% can kill Nurgle, unless he leaves, but he shouldn't be able to take Rune's End with that, so I'm not too worried. And Lorna leveled. You can have... You have a bunch of good stuff. So, I suppose it's time for this now. And let's just go with the High Elves. We're going to get trade tariff money and money from entertainment buildings, which is very little money. I guess this would be better for industry. And I guess this is trade as well. So I guess uh, give me the industry money. It shouldn't be a lot of money, but hey, it's something. High elven you are going to grab uh, any of these any good? Oh, great award save is pretty good. Let's grab that, and then we're going to start going down the red tree. Because you will have a dragon eventually. More marble. How much money are we making from trade? Oh, we're making almost 6,000. We're doing real good on trade. Are we? And we do have enough trade partners to just trade everything away. So, yeah, we're doing real good on trading. Excellent. So yeah, let's go and kill Nurgle next turn. Hello, Turian. No, I really don't want to fight the Pleasure Cult right now. They are pretty strong and um, I don't want to lose this. So I'm just happy with what I got over here. So you, you do your thing, I'll do mine. Oh, these guys attacked our newly conquered settlement. And uh, they're not coming with every anything. Spe oh, that's actually medium casualties. Maybe we should fight this. I mean, they don't stand a chance, but I don't want to take medium casualties, so let's kill some orcs. So, this should just be a pretty standard just tank and spank. We put up our front line. We put up you in the middle. We pull a line of archers. Actually, let's uh, make this a little bit tighter. And actually, let's, let's do like so. And yeah, you'll go through. I, w I just want this a little bit tighter so we can cover this properly. You'll hang out back. You can just cover the backside. And when you're needed, you'll move forward. So... You're all group one, you're group one, you're group two, you're group four, five, and one. Oh, actually, you're on an eagle. Right. Forget you're on an eagle. But you're gonna just hang out in the middle. Oh, but you're also on an eagle. Nice. But I don't really want to fight with you, so you're just gonna hang back and uh, be mobile. So, they should attack us. We get a little bit of of uh, reinforcements and uh, I mean if they can pull some of these away I would gladly take that win Spearman. so let's just move up a little bit so we can start shooting and we can shoot right now so ah dang I thought they were go gonna go over there but no no so let's move you guys up 
to shoot while moving, right? Yeah, so you can just start shooting at these guys whenever you're ready. The most Let's uh, pop a chain lightning right there. And <laughs> they're gone. That is just a decimated unit. These goblins are running away. And now we can start shooting these night goblin archers. <laughs> and they are deleted. That is gorgeous. So I guess uh, pop one of those there as well. That uh, should be alright. Yeah, that's, that's some good damage. You can go in there and help. You guys can go in and help there. You can go and help there. Go and kill those night goblins. And you can go and land on those archers. And you can start just moving into night goblins. You can move into night goblins. You can stop shooting me, please. And just pop some of that. We're gonna get some nasty skulkas in there as well. Stop miscasting. And yeah, that's that's some good stuff. You can probably pull back a little bit. Let the let the um, the uh, Lodham Sea Guard deal with that. We can start shooting in there. Send some guys in. And if we pop that, we should be able to get just another one of those. And that seems to be mostly game blouses. Nice. Yeah, so that was real quick, <laughs> real nice and easy. Oh, I even forgot to use my lions. I'm sorry, kitties, but at least you got to rest. <laughs> you'll uh, you'll get to be used next time instead. And that was pretty quick and easy. So we're just gonna grab some money to just keep pumping that influence in, and I'm hopefully gonna get to. The dragon, because I want to get this lady a dragon. She deserves it. So I think we can afford it with that, and that is that is a nice amount of of uh, influence. And of course we got plagued, which is incredibly annoying. So one nerving units when plague is spread. Oh, okay, in uh, recruitment stuff, I guess, because you can't spread in combat, so it's not going to summon in combat. I am dead. And I guess this is low casualties too. And I think that's that's for the better because this would just be just be tedious to fight. So yeah, let's just auto resolve that. Nurgle is dead. We don't have to see him again. And we are just gonna occupy that. And we are instantly just gonna pop on the control. This is gonna keep going down. The plague is the only thing that's still pumps any kind of of corruption in here so this is gonna go away we are gonna upgrade oh i was gonna say we're gonna upgrade that oh that is a lot of money but yeah oh the climate everything is orange right so we're at least gonna have to get like plazas everywhere which uh, we don't really have but this should negate most of that. This is going to negate some more of that. Uh, collected income. So we're almost always going to have a negative 17. But buildings and uh, faction is 8. That's going to go up to 10. We're going to get this 14. So it is kind of going to stabilize. And... Uh, that's going to improve it, and we can still make a plaza in here. So, I'm going to turn that off just for a little bit longer. Hey, short victory! Beautiful! Uh, we're not quite done yet, though. I, we still have to beat up uh, Grimgore. A at least a little. I mean, we're not going to kill, destroy Grimgore. That's, that's like half the map, but... Oh, shit! Speaking of Grimgore... There he is. So, you are gonna start going down. Um, yeah, start by killing you. That is... Yeah, we're gonna be in our 
territory, so we're gonna replenish that no problem. We're gonna start marching down south, because here he is. He is gonna be able to... Ooh. Oh no, that was... That was a mistake. Oh no. That was... Real bad. Because he can attack Howling Rock, we're not gonna be able to get away from that. And we're just about to finish that. Hmm. We might be able to beat them though. But... We need to get a dragon here. So, let's get rid of you. And who do I like? I do like Bruvor. He is really cool because he's got the Noxious Cloud, the Protectors of the... Okay, I guess that doesn't do much reserves per second. I was gonna say because he increases our reserves per second, but it's very little, so it's not gonna be that noticeable. But it is gonna like constantly give him armor and physical resistance, which is gonna make him pretty tanky. Especially considering... Uh, doesn't he have regeneration? He had regeneration when he fought me. No, this isn't fair. <laughs> I want regeneration. Ah, you bastard. Uh, this guy is... Uh, it doesn't really have any special abilities except for Discourage. He is a pretty good anti-infantry guy. So, I guess he's pretty good against orcs. So, that might be enough to do that. Yeah, I think we're gonna grab this guy in that case. I do li really like Bruvor. He is probably one of my favorites. But just the fact that he's anti-infantry and we're gonna fight orcs. Although, that would have been a good tool against stone trolls. I guess we could get another one. Well, you are gonna move away a little bit. Although, we have a good garrison there. Just pop in there, defend that. You're gonna recover. Unless he attacks, but in that case, we do have garrisons there. Oh, and an outpost. How nice. And Laura and I can go and help out with that. So, yeah. I made a mistake. I didn't think he could reach that, but oh, that is so stupid. But hopefully he doesn't even do anything about it. But if he does, then we are in trouble. We're gonna grab that for our archers, but then we're not gonna do any more in the red tree, I think. And we're gonna su just supercharge Imric now. I mean, he is already really, really dangerous, but he can always be be better. And wins cost and hero self defense or wins of magic power reserve chain. Nah, less wind cost. That's better. Greatest of the dragon prince. And. Replenish. Yeah, so I really should have looked what Grimgor could do, but uh, oh well. There's no point in worrying about that now. Done is done. And uh, I guess we could still probably get another dragon if we cancel a building somewhere. Oh well. Either way, oh. Right, we were already collecting there. And we can switch you to control now, because there's no corruption left. And uh, let's see what Grimgor does. Oh, hello. Um, no, I'm not gonna join your war against Yusak and Puppeteers of Misrule. That sounds like a terrible idea for me. Yeah, I thought so. But, that is a Pyrrhic victory. He doesn't have that much great stuff. I mean, the Black Orcs are obviously really scary. Um, Grimgore is terrifying. But uh, we, sh we can probably deal with this. So, yeah, I guess let's fight this. We are gonna reinforce, but we do have a little bit of stuff from our garrison. So, that's, that's fine. So... Let's see how this goes, but if we lose this, which we might actually do. Um, we got no one else to blame but me, because this is 100% because of a misplay. But we're just gonna hide all of our stuff, see if they uh, if they can't find it. They probably can, but uh, hey, 
doesn't hurt to try. We are gonna reinforce in one and a half minutes. So let's. Okay, they are actually just scouting around, which is nice. And they found us. Okay. Let's move these guys back over here. Let's make it tight. And so, because we do have some people coming in. And this is where we're gonna make our stand. So that is fine. They are gonna probably gonna leave their rock their rock lobbers a bit back. So we can send some eagles on that. And we can definitely just shoot back on those guys. So. Um... Pause for a sec. Frontline. Bam. Sea guard. Um, okay. Frontline. Ba bam. Sea guards. Bam. Now, we'll, we'll put them there. That's gonna cover the flank a little bit. We'll put the archers up so. And frontline. Like so. You're gonna run up on the side. You're gonna... You can be the fly squad with... Wait. That's the noble. And I guess that is also a noble, but he's a foot noble. You're gonna be five. You're gonna go and hang right there and start... Start casting lots of spells. At least we have quite a bit of reserves, so that is nice. Like so. You are also gonna be group one. You're gonna be group two. And... You're gonna be group one. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Flyers, let's... Uh, actually, let's grab these two. And they're gonna go around the other way. You can be group six. Just fly around. And uh, we're gonna see if we can find some picks. Although, you are just gonna instantly go and breathe on some black orcs. You're... Flying over everything, but I guess that's that worked out. And yeah, let's uh, start breathing on these black orcs. Uh, they're pretty bunched up. Oh yeah, that is excellent <laughs> damage on some black orcs. Yes, beautiful. We got squigs coming in. That's fine. These guys are gonna go and land on rock lovers, like so. Uh, pause for a sec. Um, these are black orcs. Ooh, run around. You go and land on those snotling pump wagons. You are anti-infantry. So let's go and uh, find you a black orc to land on, probably. And let's uh, send you into like big guns and some night goblin archers. That's gonna be fine. And here they come. So. Let's pause. Let's pop a... Shane Lightning there. Let's... Uh, land you in the Black Orcs. Let's put one of those over there. We are gonna just blast there. And those are doing fine. You're doing fine. Very good. Oh shit, you're already... You're already taking huge damage. Let's send you in and help. Shoot there, shoot there. Um, that's uh, Plague of Rust there. Let's go and help with those instead. But we are crumping their front line. These guys are doing work send you into the rock lobbers because the eagles are losing you can pop back into night goblins and yeah plague of rust and archers is also really good so black orcs are dealt with underwhelmed by the by the dragon so far but let's overcast final transmutation on grimgore it's gonna start debuffing him heavily Start shooting in there. You're doing fine. You should be doing fine against you. Um, I guess go and land on those. 
You can go and fight some Orc Shaman. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Deal with Grimgore. Let's debuff him as well. Just get that damage down. And I kind of want to Plague of Rustim. So let's do that as well. And yeah, he's a 19 melee defense. And still really high armor, but... He is such a beast. But we're still doing work to him, which is really good. Let's pop all of those. And you're doing weird stuff, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we are fine. Okay, <laughs> not punished. I mean, okay, a little bit punished because we did get attacked by Grimgore. But we also get to kill Grimgore. So, hey, silver lining. And we are going to chase some stuff here just to make sure that... Well, I was going to say, to make sure that Grimgore dies, but final transmutation is nuts. Like, it does so much damage, and we are going to chase some of these off as well, but you don't have to watch that. So, that was actually way better than I thought I was going to go. Like, the front line held beautifully, mostly because we did a lot of damage on the approach. Especially the breath from uh, Shackalot was, mmm, chef's kiss. But I kind of overestimated him a little bit when I threw him into Black Orcs, or underestima underestimated Black Orcs, because Black Orcs are fucking beasts. So, of course he wasn't gonna win that, but at least he occupied them for a while, and uh, it, it all worked out. So, yeah, um, grab uh, a bunch of money, I suppose, and Grimgore is dead. Wonderful. And the Eastern River Lords wants military access. You can have it, but I want money for it. Okay. I was hoping for a little bit more, but ah, whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> oh, there's Barak Var? Wait, you moved over from, like, the western part of the Badlands to attack Mount Silverspear. What is wrong with you? Okay, well, I mean, this is obviously a, a defeat, but... We're gonna send our third army to deal with this. But we should be able to deal with this. I'm just baffled. So, Sly is gonna... Where did you get all those units from? I thought we killed more than that, but... That's fine. Oh, lots of stuff happening. But you are gonna die now. There we go. So, now I feel way more confident that we can just push up and finish off the Slaves of Tsar. Probably take Tsar Nagrund. And um, I kind of want to own all of the Badlands. So, that's at least going to be our goal before we end this. Even though we finished the short campaign victory. And I'm just happy that the I really like the lore of, uh, of metal. I just It's just a really versatile... Uh, school of Magic. Like, Searing Doom does great damage. Gana's Golden Hounds is, well, it's a vortex. It's <laughs> most often it just goes into your own stuff, but it's pretty good to have when you just need to deal damage to big blobs of units. Metal Shifting is just good for your units. Plague of Rust is so good when you need to snipe something. Final Transmutation just does so much damage to Lords and just tanks the melee defense while doing insane damage, so good. And Transmutation of Lead is just nerfing damage. It's just good stuff. I love it. And you already knew all of that, but <laughs> I just wanted to talk about it. So, um, let's... Oh, actually, this leads up into the mountains. This is Silver Pinnacle. But I guess that's good to have anyway. But that's going to open up another front with the dwarves. But it's also going to finish a a province for us, so I guess uh, start moving over to the Silver Pinnacle. And you. Wait, this is the Noble. So I guess... Uh, what do you want here? None of these. I just find these to be kind of lackluster. I know they're kind of just filler, for so you don't run out of things to put skill points in, but... 
Yeah, they're not very interesting, are they? I mean, 5% hit points, I guess, is something. We don't really have Illyrian Reavers. 3 leadership for everything might be alright. 6 mil defense of the 3 points. Yeah. I mean, this is... This isn't bad, I guess. This is some decent stuff, but I think we're just gonna keep pumping points into the yellow tree. That's fine. And uh, you are fighting el or dark elves, so... No, green skins. So we're gonna pop you in there. Although, before you get to fight any green skins, you are gonna go and deal with Barak Var. Because for some reason, they just uh, marched all across the world from here. <laughs> <laughs> Just to fight us. And the Bloody Hands isn't doing too great, but that's alright. How are you feeling about us? We are improving again, so that's nice. And they haven't broken any of our agreements. Oh, and they're not doing too well either. Oof. So, it looked like they were doing great, but I guess the Bloody Hands have beaten their armies, it seems. So, Imric, you can start moving north. No. Go into the water and into Ruin's End. Why would I go around? Na 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 na. Let's send you over there. You're gonna go north. And we're on our way. Ooh, and we have a lot of money. So... I think we're gonna give this guy the Champion of Flame. Because I think that's honestly the weakest of the, of the dragons. I guess... I'm a little bit disappointed that he doesn't have any regeneration and he's, his health is way lower than when we fought, but that's I guess that's just balancing. But you see how many how much front line? We have seven front line, five of these. I guess we can just merge some spearmen in that case. And just get you another dragon. I know Imric is the dragon lord and all that, but you gotta spread the love. And we can always just shove them in here if we need to so it's all right but you are you're just gonna grab money i guess oh actually um i guess we could get some gate guards or cultural advancements what would that unlock it's these right oh we can grab those those are those are nice so yeah, let's uh, let's just build that. I like it. It's gonna lower corruption. Not gonna matter, but hey, it's it's something. And we're we gonna start collecting here. No, we need still need to. Oh, I guess uh, we really should upgrade this first. But we'll get that soon. I'm gonna want that those techs and. Uh, I do want the money here, so yeah. Let's see, most of this is, it's still four provincial instability. It's two Nurgle corruption, so six of this is gonna go away. And we're still gonna get another two, so that is eight extra. And uh, once we get down here, we are gonna, or down here even, then we are gonna just, uh, oh wait, we are down there. No, I don't think we are. It says we're at 26, negative 26, but we don't have the extra plus one in, un unless that's on the buildings. Either way, I'm sure this is fine. We're gonna collect here. Worst case, we're just gonna stop collecting and we'll uh, start increasing that in no time. So we're gonna leave that open. You're uh, increasing, so we can start building money stuff there. And uh, let's pass the turn and go kill some more. No, not orcs. Sorry, I meant dwarves. I didn't mean to call you orcs. You truly you can oh, the Blessed Dread. Are you declaring? Them. Yeah, they are. But that... Okay. I was going to say that brings in both of the Cathayan nations, but... Uh, yeah, that's... That doesn't matter. <laughs> You're already at war with everyone over there. So, that's fine. Okay. Oh, they are moving down as well, and we never did put a garrison over here, but they have. we have an outpost over there, and uh, they are very tattered, so we can probably just chase them down. 
can actually force him to move, so there's that. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll figure that out next episode. Oh, and a wild hunt begins. Uh, as a matter, hey, cheaper dragons, just in time, because now these are gonna be a little bit cheaper. But I'm gonna end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.